All the way from Homestead Institute of Tape in Chadston, this is Hit TV. We're back for another episode, and as always, it, we've got a massive show for you, so let's delay no longer. Blasting out of your television screens in a jet powered, monkey navigated. Do you really want me to read this? It just goes on like that. I'm not reading this. No. Here are your hosts, Mandy Blumenthal and Matt Burke. Thanks for that, Josh, and welcome to another instalment of Hit TV. I'm your host, Matt Burke, and to the right of me, we have the beautiful Mandy Blumenthal. Oh, thanks, Matt. <laughs> well, brace yourselves. Yes, strap yourselves in. Because today's episode is going to be out of the ordinary. See? <laughs> See, we wouldn't lie to you. No. Well, you saw it a fortnight ago, and this week, for all you Starcrust lovers, it's back. The perfect trade. We'll also take you down to the beach to see the brighter life of the Brighton Life Saving Crew. This could save your life. And if you're trying to become that perfect Aussie, what would be an episode without Wing Yips tips? And we'll be showing you the sport that's taken over the streets of Melbourne that will keep you running back for more. Would that be AFL that you're talking about? Um, I wasn't then, but now that you mention it, didn't you and Hit TV's Jack Cruz go down to Federation Square to get Vox Pops mm. from the people at the Grand Final? We did. We went down the day before Grand Final and the atmosphere was absolutely unbelievable there. That's what I'm talking about! Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> rightio, uh, Josh. Um, Who the hell hide him? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, anyway, these are the Grand Final Vox Pops here on Hit TV. We're here at Federation Square right now for Grand Final Week. Yeah, we're going to see what kind of uh, hardcore fans we can scrounge out of the depths of uh, Federation Square here in lovely Melbourne. See what we can find out about what people think about their teams. And although we might not have the best camera equipment like Channel 7 and all these other networks that are here, we sure have the goods. Yes, we do. So I, I'm Andy. And I'm Jack. And we're going to see what you think about footy. So you're a hardcore Geelong supporter? Yep. yep. You want the Hawks to win then? No. Why not? Because we're, because we're too good. Enjoying grand final week in Melbourne? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, I've been here for about a month or so, so we're looking forward to the final tomorrow. So, so I see you guys go for a Richmond. <laughs> Richmond? Yeah, right. <laughs> Mate, if you had to say you look like an AFL player, who would you say you look like? Uh, <laughs> best soccer one, Gary Albert. <laughs> Probably Brett Evert. <laughs> a little bit of uh, Shane Crawford? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I've been told when I got my hair cut differently. I look a little bit like Tony Libertore, eh? like side eye, but uh, I don't know. Who would you say you look like? Sam Mitchell, he's hot. Do you reckon you look a bit like Shane Crawford? Oh yeah, got the looks and everything. But I would say I'd have to look like Robert Harvey. Ooh. Are you yeah. um, No, but they have cute football players. Do you play Gaelic football at all? Uh, actually, no. Uh, I probably should play rugby back home, but um, it's just sad. So it's, AFL is just a new, a new thing, so I'm only playing about a year. So. Yeah, we don't like rugby in Melbourne. So uh, you're pretty desperate for a ticket. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. So who do you follow in the AFL? Richmond. Richmond is your favourite player. Matthew Richardson. You gotta love Richo. Uh, well, as the sign suggests, I'm <laughs> willing to trade some sexy time for, for tickets. You guys don't have any tickets? No, I'd have sex for tickets as well. So. Love the commitment, love the commitment. Hey, hey Fredo, who are you going for? Geelong! Yeah. How'd you get tickets? Um, through a friend actually. Yeah. Do you want to introduce me to your friend? Um, <laughs> I don't think he's got any left. Oh. Do you go for the Hawks? I go for the Swans, but I'd love the Hawks to win because I love Shane Crawford. He's my hero. Who do you all back for? Sainers. Sainers! Saints. No good. No good. Tom's got a friend who plays for uh, Hawthorne. Hugh Sanderlands. The yeah, I back from Melbourne. Yeah. It's horrible! <laughs> I know. What is this? You've got like the top team against the bottom team. I know. I know. Are you supporting the Hawks because of him or no, not really at all? I told you, I love Craw. So not Hugh Sanderlands at all? He's not playing. He still plays for Hawthorne. Yeah, but he's not playing tomorrow. Anyway, Sydney's not playing either and Sydney sucks. Shut up. <laughs> Who do you follow? I'm a member, car member of North Melbourne, Kangaroos. <laughs> Are 
Beautiful. We are Geelong, the greatest team of all. Oh, hey, we are Geelong, we're always on the ball. We play the game as it should be played, at home or far away. We found out some pretty interesting things here at Federation Square, Grand Final Eve, about what people here in Melbourne and from all over Australia think about the AFL football. And as well as that, we met some really interesting people, some pretty cool people as well in the crowd. Yeah, we did meet some interesting people. Anyway, that's all from us, Mandy and Jack. See you next time on Hit TV. That was really, really awesome. You guys did a great job. Well, we love football and we aim to please. Riding the bumps with a grin at Hawthorne. Uh, Josh, I wouldn't give your efforts a perfect 10, but uh, what some ladies might give a perfect 10 to are those tradies. Okay, I got it. Got it? I got it. Larry the woodworker called his boss one morning and said, Hey boss, I'm sorry, I'm not coming in to work today. My head's sore, my stomach's sore, got the headache, the stomach ache, the lot. I'm sorry boss, I'm just not going to make it. The boss said to Larry, Larry, we really need you in today. You know what I do when I feel sick? I call up my wife and I ask her to make love to me. That always works. So, two hours later, Larry gives the boss a call back and says, Hey boss, I did what you said! And it worked like a charm, thank you! And by the way, you sure do got a nice house! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. No perfect 10 either. But let's just check out the only thing that is perfect. Oh, thank you, Matt. I'm not sure, you silly duffer. Up next is the perfect trade on Hit TV. <laughs> Welcome back to the perfect trade, the dating game show with a twist. Last challenge, our three tradies had to build a house out of wafers to show off their building skills. And as the tally sits so far, Grant, our carpenter, is leading with three points. Closely followed behind in second is Jesse, the sparky, on two points. And on one point is Michael, our plumber. Now these tradies may be skilled at their chosen trade, but how would they deal with a surprise of the kindy kind? Boys, are you ready for child's play? Challenges, you must eat all the chocolate and swallow it and prove to us that you have before opening and constructing your toy. Challenges, are you ready? Michael, you've added two points to your score, bringing you to a total of three, tied with Grant, and poor old Jesse only on two points. Next time on The Perfect Trade, we see if these boys have the ability to keep it clean. Thanks for watching The Perfect Trade, and don't forget to hug your trade.